Today we're gonna look over an article by homesandgardens.com looking at six paint colors that go really well with beige. In fact, these don't even need to be used in the form of paint, but just decor and interiors all together. Really, really awesome ways to elevate beige to a fun artistic degree. So we've all heard the term builder's beige. Oh, beige, blah, oatmeal, boring. All these descriptors for the color category known as beige. And interior design, it is a color that is often equated with monotony just sort of a safe, uninteresting choice. This is because beige is a neutral that is very passive and doesn't really bring a lot of hue to the table. It is not a vibrant color type in any stretch of the imagination. And in fact, it usually relies on other colors to help counterbalance it. It's like a comedic duo where you have the wacky and zany color and then you have, you know, the straight sort of chill. They call it the straight person, but really it's just the neutral person, the boring person to really heighten the crazy color over here. So shout outs to Lucy, the author of this article. One of you guys sent me this to take a look at and let's go through these six color categories. I'll give you my thoughts on each one as we go through it. And if you enjoy these more reaction style commentary videos, we do a ton of them on our Patreon. So you can become a member, see exclusive videos there every single Sunday. We have a growing community there of super die hard pain people supporters. Shout outs to you guys. So the first color we're looking at is beige combined with blue gray. Blue dash gray. I almost like beige with all kinds of blue, but I guess in this article, they're talking about the either more shaded or toned down versions of blue, maybe navies or really cool leaning grays that just have a blue undertone to them. And I think what's great about this sort of pairing is they are fairly complementary in nature because you have beige, which is warmer leaning, and then of course blue being cooler leaning. But the gray aspect of the blue is what creates a bit of a neutral pairing where Neither of them are going to pull focus too much. They're both a little more desaturated because they don't have that pure electric color that maybe a non grayed out blue would have, which is just pure saturation. I would say, especially in the example that they give here, beige would be the dominant color in this pairing. And then you'd have maybe a little accent piece that's just a little bit of blue to sort of accentuate something, whether it's a wall or a piece of furniture, but it's not going to pull focus too much. It's gonna sort of settle in and fit nicely. Now going from a little bit complementary to monochromatic almost, beige and yellow is this really classic combination that you might see in very old style romantic homes. Beige and yellow, they have some similarities. A lot of beige colors have a clear yellow undertone. So by incorporating a yellow next to it, it's just a heightening of that beige. And what you get is this very nice layered, monochromatic, almost adjacent color scheme where you have creamy beige and then this dynamic yellow. So it's warm, warm, warm. But what's great is they're still part of the same family. So they're not really competing with one another, if that makes sense. And the article goes into the more mustardy yellows, which I think is good, or even a harvest gold, you can say, because as the yellow gets a bit more grounded and earthy and maybe a dash of ochre or gold, bronze, brown undertones sort of mixed in, to sort of keep it feeling nice and settled while still having that yellow warmth, they connect even more. So it becomes more of a subtle transition from the beige to the yellow. But I think it's great. If you go really yellow, it's very in your face. So just be aware of that. If you're liking this video so far, press that like button for me. Why not? Thank you. This is a classic combination, beige and red. And whenever I see these two together, I just think of, I don't know, Morocco or something. And the beige that's being used here is not just an off-white, pastel, creamy color. It's almost a mid-tone beige, dare I say a tan color. So the depth between the beige and the red is comparable. They're both fairly dark, fairly deep, you know, either in that mid-tone or dark mid-tone territory. And these two types of colors, they will work best if they share that clay-like quality or that natural organic feeling where you have like a dry desert dirt kind of color in the beige and then a red clay color in the red. Even though these two aren't nearly as monochromatic as beige and yellow, the specific beiges and reds that are being used in this example, I feel like they're much more connected and they're conducive to have a really positive working relationship. And 
you can easily utilize it in more styles, especially if you go for a more rustic kind of aesthetic. Now here's an interesting one. It is beige and green. Now in theory, this is a no brainer because you could say beige is a descendant of brown and green and brown, they go together beautifully. Cause if you look at a tree, there it is in nature, the bark and the leaves. But in this example, we have a very interesting Shade of green, um, yes. As a father to a newborn, uh, I am unfortunately very familiar with this shade of green, but I digress. There is a number of ways you can look at this. You can go with a traditional kind of brown based beige and then just a nice beautiful green, <laughs> maybe a forest green or something. You'll have that nature inspired sort of feel, or you can go a little more complimentary and pick a beige that has more of a strong red undertone to it. That is a little more rosy in nature. And then it's really gonna pick out the green in whatever you pair it with because red and green, very much complementary. They're going to accentuate one another and not clash, but just an interesting relationship that the two have. So in this example, we have, I believe wallpaper, looks like, oh, silk velvet, interesting. And then yeah, this painting, it looks like green velvet that was actually like slashed with a knife. It's kind of interesting, but it really pops because there is that sort of mauve undertone happening. You definitely see it in that chair over there. That's very much bringing that green to the forefront. That is definitely the accent here. Next up we have beige and orange. And this is another one that's kind of like yellow, but orange is, a little more passionate because it has some of that red. And what's happening is the beige is very much fading into the background and you have beige in the form of off-white and just pine, really light wood. And what's happening is the orange is being accentuated that much more. I'm neither here nor there on this pairing. I think it works, it's fine, it's fun. It's not a pairing that a lot of people I think would incorporate. You can do it, yeah, it makes sense. Warm and warm, you have very neutral and then very dynamic. But unlike the red that was used earlier, the orange here, yeah, it's very punchy, very youthful, so. If you're into that, I'm not so much, to be honest. In fact, I prefer the last one, which is kind of the mature version of orange, which is terracotta. So this is the best of both worlds. You have a little bit of that zing from orange. You have that beautiful richness of the red combined into this slightly muted color we know as terracotta. Hugely popular last year, still heavily used today in design. And I think this is a combination that really just does it for me. It's grounded, you can have just a pop of that terracotta or you can color wash your room and just immerse it on your walls, on the trim, on the ceiling, and then everything else is kind of beige and you have this very nice back and forth one-two punch of beige and terracotta. Really interesting stuff. This being the last one makes sense to me. I feel like we were kind of going into strange directions and then we end up with one that's okay. What's your favorite pairing with beige? Let me know down below. And we have another video right over here for your enjoyment.